What I've decided to do is split my review of Spotify Free and Spotify Premium. This one's going to be about my review on Spotify Free, but if you want to see the Spotify Premium, click the annotation. Okay, let's get started. Spotify Free, what you get is millions of tracks instantly. You can play and organize your own MP3s. Spotify Social, taking music abroad, artist radio, and no art advertising. Um, okay, so millions of tracks available instantly. Basically what that means is you search for an artist, you know, fucking shit. You click on the artist name and you see their top hits, their albums, and if you keep scrolling down it's going to say singles, compilations, appears on, so forth, so forth. They don't have every album. Well, some artists they do have every album, but a lot of the older artists they don't have every album. And what you can do from this artist profile page is read their biography and then view related artists. So it's a great way of discovering new artists that you may not know about. You know, um, you can also go to the top lists, which shows you know the popular songs right now. And I mean that's really basically what I can say about the millions of tracks. Um, okay, play and organize your own MP3s. What that means is you can. Um, Connects to your local files that are on your computer. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, your iTunes library. You know, the, the MP3s can be located anywhere on your computer. You just have to set the destination and, you know, it'll show up on your Spotify application. But the one thing I hate about this is it's kind of disorganized. You know, the, my iTunes library, er, yeah, my iTunes library does not look like this. It's a lot more organized. But on here, it just shows up, you know, disorganized. I don't know why. I don't like it. So that's one thing to think about. Okay, Spotify Social. Basically, you can view your friends from Facebook, if you've connected to Facebook or whatever. And you can see what your friends are listening to. You can also share playlists, artists, you know, individual songs, stuff like that to your friends. You can also see what they're listening to. Um, you can also, if you connect it to your Facebook, you can have it so, um, um let me see here in preferences. You can, uh, show what I listen to on Facebook, which means if you listen to an album or something, it's going to show up in the no in the news feed of what album you listen to or your song, whatever. I, mean, I disabled that after about one month of using it because I, I never had any complaints, but I just felt like... You know, it's kind of annoying people, you know. And also, I think it's kind of freaky how everyone can see what you're listening to. I mean, I know that's what Last.fm is for, but I don't know. It's just something something about Facebook that I don't like, you know, sharing what I listen to all the time, you know. Whatever. I don't know. It's just me. Okay. Now, Artist Radio. You know, taking music abroad, what that means is uh, you can log on to your friend's, uh, or if you're at your friend's house or whatever, you can log on to your Spotify account and you can view your local files for 14 days. And you, you can also, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. Okay, Artist Radio basically is Pandora. So there's really nothing special there. And the advertisements. Um, I have a Spotify Premium right now, but for the advertisements, you're going to get occasionally, well, actually, nonstop. You're going to either have a banner on the bottom, which I hate, or a banner on the side, which I don't mind that much. Um, if you have a smaller screen, when there's a banner on the bottom, it's going to suck because when you're scrolling, it's just an even smaller screen, and it's... Scroll a lot more. When it's on the side, it's not taking up that much stuff. You know? Like, what's over here? Nothing. Okay? Big deal. Um, and also, every four or five tracks you listen to, there's going to be an audio advertisement, which is usually like 15 to 30 seconds. And the advertisements aren't even that retarded. They're usually about, you know, new music, artists, you know, just stuff about music. Um, there's also uh, advertisements about new features in Spotify. And talks about sharing music and stuff like that. 
it's nothing like off topic, you know, it's nothing like, er, buy this car or something stupid like that, you know, no, it's all about music, so I don't actually really mind the advertisements, and as a matter of fact, if I could enable audio advertisements, I would actually do it, because I don't mind it, um, yeah, so, I mean, okay, what do I not like about Spotify Free? Now, I'm not gonna, like, hate on it too much. I mean, it is free, so why would I complain too much? Why would I complain about something that's free? Um, but anyways, what I dislike is, I already have this artist up, um, search for this artist. What I dislike about this free version is, look at this. Look at this. Look at this album. Why can't they just put Exciter 2007 Remaster in parentheses up here? I mean, I know, I know it has 2007 here, but why not put Remaster? Instead of putting it Dream On-2007 Remaster on every, every song in this album. It looks like a wall of text. I hate it. I don't know. It's not like that for every album, but apparently for this artist, it is for every album. Except this one, I guess. And when it's like this, I don't mind it. It looks fine. But when it's like this, I don't know. I just, I hate it. Um, what else I don't like is the local files. It makes it look disorganized for some reason. I don't know. But otherwise, I mean, ah, that's really all I dislike about this. I mean, for for free, you do get a lot. You know, don't even complain. You do get a lot. And... Man, just the features this come with, like, you know, installing various apps. Um, you can uh, view the top hits. You can listen to them, right? I could listen to all these right now, except the ones that are grayed out, but yeah. And, you know, you have basically Pandora built in already. You have, you can scrabble to last.fm if you have that. You can, again, this is just another random app. You can, um... Uh, Playlist, you can add play. There's just so much to do on this free version that I'm not gonna complain too much. Like I'm not gonna be like, okay, so what? Um, this shit's labeled retardedly, but I'm not gonna be like, eh, this isn't good because you know it's labeled crap. No, like I think it's a great application, and I suggest everyone tries it out. Okay. If you don't try it out, you're stupid. I give this application a 9 out of... T you know what? 10 out of 10. For it being free, and how much you get for it being free, you just can't go wrong. So 10 out of 10. Thanks as my review of Spotify Free. Um, if you want my review on Spotify Premium, go check out that video. Shit. I Wow, I tried to end this recording and I took a screenshot. Okay.